Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to bezel this 17 millimeter trillion stone. And we're gonna do the standard peyote bezel. Um, this stone is from the Beating School Academy box, Sirens of the Northern Sea. I don't know if it's still available or if you can get, the, if the um, stones are still available, I'll put a link to their website in the description box under the video. So I have not bezeled a 17 millimeter trillion before. I've done a 12 millimeter and the I think it's the 23 or the 25 millimeter, but I've never done the 17 millimeter. So I went back to the expert, Ann Benson, and she has a wonderful video on bezeling a trillion stone and how to figure out your initial number of beads that you need. So I just adapted her, um, her procedure to work for a 17 millimeter stone. She's wonderful. Um, watch the video. It's got lots of graphics. Very. I wish I had her graphics program. <laughs> She does a beautiful job. All right, so um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to get a materials list going. You'll just need a 17 millimeter stone. I will actually, at the end of the video, um, just give you some numbers on the um, 23 millimeter and the 12 millimeter. So all you're going to do is thread your needle with a about 36 to 40 inches of thread, put on a stop bead in the middle, and then we'll get started on this. Best. Okay, so we have a 17 millimeter trillion stone. So trillion stone has three equal sides. So the number of delicas you're going to start with has to be divisible by three, but it also has to be an even number of delicas for a peyote bezel to work. So you need a number divisible by three and number number divisible by two as well. So that's going to be six. So we're going to use a multiple of six to get the number of beads we need. Okay, so a little bit of guesswork here. You have you, know, you need a multiple of six in order to uh, satisfy what we need to make this bezel, but how many? So you can look at a, um, a, a multiple table of six, and you know, it'll be six, 12, 18, 24, such and such. So I went up to 42 beads. I started with 48 and it was way too big. So I went down to 42 and you're sort of guessing at that point, right? So I'm just gonna put 42 around and I think that's going to fit just fine. Okay, so I've picked up and dropped down to my stop bead, the 42 beads, and I'm starting, I'm alternating, so I'm starting with a cream bead, then going to an aqua, cream, aqua, and so on until I have 42 beads on. Then I'm just going to sew these beads into a circle by sewing up the first bead after my stop bead, which is that very first cream bead. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to sort of just wrap it around there, looking pretty good. Let's start the bezel. So I'm exiting the cream bead. I'm going to pick up a blue one and I'm just going to sew through the next cream one. Or if you're just doing all one color, picking up a bead, skipping a bead, sewing through the next bead. Like so. What's fun about doing the alternating is you know every time you're coming out of a cream bead, you're going to pick up a blue bead and sew through the next cream bead. Or you can make them, you know, A, B, whatever, you know, letter them, number them, whatever you like. She's going to do that all the way around. Okay, coming down to the end, and we're going to step up. So picking up our blue bead, exiting this cream, I'm going to sew through this cream bead, and then the blue one on the diagonal. And that's going to step me up. So we can add some more beads. Here we're back. So next up, I'm going to add one more round of delicas. So I'm going to pick up my cream color delica now, and I'm just going to sew through every sticking out blue, teal, whatever your color is there. So I'm just going to do that all the way around, and then meet me at the end, and we'll step coming down to the end, so let's step up. So picking up my green bead, I'm going to, I'm exiting here, I'm going to sew through this blue bead, and then the cream one on the diagonal. And now I'm ready to put some more beads on. Okay, so we've got our bezel, our delicas on, and I'll just check it one more time just to see. Looking good. Now we're exiting one of the cream color delicas. I'm going to start with some 15 So we're going to do some decreases. We have to do three decreases to get that the shape we want. So I'm going to pick up a 15 exiting a delica. I'm going to sew through the next sticking out delica. I'm going to do that again. 
more time. I'm just going to put on three right now and then I'm going to do the decrease um, because I don't want the last decrease to be um, on a step up. So we're going to actually do six 15 O's and then do our decrease. Six 15 O's do a decrease, six 15 O's do a decrease. But I want you to start with three and then we'll continue at the end. I hope that's not too confusing, but I've so far I've just added three 15 O's. Now I'm exiting a delica. I'm just going to sew directly through the next delica just without any beads on my needle, just my thread. And that's going to be my first decrease. Okay, now I'm going to add more 15 O's. So all I'm going to put on six. So I'm going to put, I'm exiting a delica, I'm putting on one. Two, three, it's four, five, one more, and six. Okay, so now I have six. 15 O's on. Now I'm going to do the next decrease. So I'm exiting a delica. I'm just going to sew through the next delica without any beads on my needle and just give that a little pull. And we're going to start. We have our second decrease going. So now you're going to add another six 15 O's on and then we'll continue. My six 15 O's after that decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to decrease again. So just sew through the next bead without any um, beads on your needle and then I just have to complete the end. Remember we started with three so we're gonna have to add the rest of them. So exiting here I'm going to sew through picking up a 15 out, sewing through the next delica. Another one. And then we're gonna step up and that's gonna end this round. So I'm exiting here just going to sew through the next cream delica, you know, picking up a 15 0 sewing through the next cream delica and the 15 0 on the diagonal. And now we have our decreases set up. Our decreases are set up. You can't really see them yet, but you'll see them on this round. So we're going to put another round of 15 0s on, and you're just going to pick up a 15 0 and sew through the next sticking out 15 0. And you're going to do that all the way around. So when you come to where you've decreased, all you're going to do is just going to sew through the next sticking out 15 out. So there we go. And when you pull it in, do you see how you're going to get a point there now? So you're just going to do that all the way around and then we'll step on to step up. So picking up my last 15 out, exiting 15 out, I'm just going to sew through the next 15 out and then the one on the diagonal. I'm going to give it a pull. Notice how we've got our nice little trillion shape going on. Okay, this is what we have so far. So I'm just going to take my stone and I'm going to just put it on. And I'm using this as the top because I kind of like the way the, the two, you know, the decrease right there shows at the top. And then the decrease would show in this corner and the decrease shows in this corner. So it has, this is what it looks like. So this is going to be the front. So now I've turned my, my bezel over. I've taken off my stopping and threaded my needle. So my thread will be coming out of this delica right here. So it's a cream one. I, you want to get to the outside here. So just sew through this guy. So that bead right there. Now you can put some more beads on. Okay, so I'm going to put my stone in and I'm putting it in face down. And your point is going to go You'll be, your tip will, um, the point will be at a delica here and here. The two other color delicas on the side, if you turn it over, your point will be right where the decrease is. So I'm just going to hold it in place right now, just like that. It should fit nice around it. And we're just going to add 15 o. So I'm just going to pick up a 15 o, and I'm going to put a 15 o in between each delica. I'm just going to do that all the way around. 
and then you're going to step up and do that again. So put on a second round of 15 O's and then meet me back here and we'll continue. Okay, I did my two rounds on the back and then I added a third round just because I felt like it pulled it in a little bit better, you know, covered a little bit more of the stone on the back. So go ahead and do a third round, step up, and then you can sew your threads in. So this is what the front looks like. Really pretty. Here's the back, nice and secure. Okay, so just a few of the trillions that I had in my stash. So of course we just did this one and it came out great. And then I did a little 12 millimeter. I used the same procedure. And then um, I did this 23 millimeter that I don't I, I don't know where I got it from. It's, I've had it forever, so I'm not exactly sure where it came from. Um, just a note, um, I used the same thing. I did, you know, I did an even number of delicas to start and it had to be divisible by three. That turned out to be 60 for this stone and my decreases, I did nine 50 nose, decrease, nine 50 nose, decrease, nine 50 nose, decrease, and so on. I did it exactly the way I did this one, but when I turned it over onto the back and put my stone in, I felt that the stone was a little was a little too thick and that I needed another round of delicas on the back. So before I add my 15 nose on the back of this one, I'm gonna add another round of delicas. So that's important when you're um, bezeling any stone is you want to make sure that you're, you know, before you start your 15 nose, you know, for a peyote bezel, um, that you want them, you want to just kind of come over the stone. There wasn't quite enough space here for me to end up right here. So you want to make sure, so if I push it a little bit, see, um, so it actually needed another Delica in order to, you know, capture the stone nicely. All right, so there you go. Here are a few tips on doing a little trillion bezel. I hope it was helpful. Um, I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.